your favorite restaurants now deliver with DoorDash. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what you're hungry for. It doesn't even matter how many you are. Restaurants come to you. Delicious at your door. Download DoorDash. First order, $1 delivery fee. New at 11. Well, since I got home at 4 o'clock, I guarantee the house has dropped 15, 20 degrees inside. No power, no heat. How an entire neighborhood is coping on the coldest night yet this winter. And the flag still whipping around in the wind here at National Harbor. The air temperatures are into the teens right now. Much colder than that when you account for the wind will break down your wake-up temperatures. And seven on your side, a minefield of potholes across the DMV. The surprising response ABC7 gets when we asked if the shutdown is impacting road relief on places like the Memorial Bridge. Now, ABC7 News at 11, on your side. And good evening, everyone. It is night two of the Arctic cold snap. Another dangerous night to be outside. For some restoring power, helping roadside, or fixing water main breaks, there's no choice. For schools, however, there is one. And dozens of school systems announcing two-hour delays so they can make, make sure the buses will start. And, of course, the classrooms are warm. In Virginia, Arlington, Alexandria, Fairfax, Stafford, Loudoun, and many more. As for Maryland, Prince George's County among that group. And that is just a small part of the list. You you can check the ticker below for a scrolling tally for you. And right now, Stormwatch 7 Chief Meteorologist Bill Kelly with the forecast. Bill, those feels like temperatures still near zero at yeah, this point. In some spots even below. Good evening, everyone. We're now 30 hours of uh, temperature below freezing in our region. And we're considerably low. Very hard freeze here. 18 in D.C. Got 18 in Frederick. 12 in Winchester, Cumberland at 11, but the flags, I was just showing you that, National Harbor still whipping around, winds 5 to 15, nowhere near as strong as they were earlier, but when you have the temperatures like they are, it does not take much, as you well know, to go out and just really have that temperature knocked down. The wind chill right now in Hagerstown is 2 degrees below zero. It's 1 in Gaithersburg, 5 in D.C., and that's about where we're going to stay through the night. The good news is the winds are going to calm a little bit, but the temperatures are going to come down. So those two are going to balance each other out. So the bus stop, there is that delay. Now, not every single school has that delay, but the 7 a.m. pickup temperature, if you don't have one, is right around 13 with a wind chill at 7. It's going to be a big difference, that two hours. Look at the difference here, 20 degrees at 9 o'clock in the morning with a wind chill of 15. I mean, these are still bitter cold air uh, te temperatures. It doesn't matter what time you go out, but the difference between a 13 and then a 20 or 21 really is pretty remarkable. A high today is 24 for comparison's sake. We have some big changes. We'll talk about those coming up in just minutes. All right, Bill, thank you. And tonight, a staggering reminder of the toll this cold is having on vehicles across the DMV. And tomorrow morning, could be even worse. AAA telling ABC7 tonight it has fielded thousands of calls for help across the DMV. Most of that has been in Maryland. In Virginia, more than 1,200 calls and several hundred reported in D.C. Now, roadside crews also reporting a lot of the help is for batteries that just don't want to help start the car in this cold. So tonight's been very challenging for a lot of cars. Uh, if the battery is older than three years old, you're going to have some issues getting started in this cold. I've had to change a few batteries, uh, given a few jump starts but I've been, help, been able to help everybody get back on the road. They say remember to make sure you have a full tank of gas just in case you're stranded so you can keep that heat running. Don't rely on your car either to charge your phone. Make sure it is full of juice on its own just in case. Well, the strong winds not only making it feel colder outside, but inside some homes after a big gust took down a tree right through some power lines in Fairfax County. Heather Graff is in the community off Barkley Drive and Route 50. And Heather, we all know no power means no heat. Oh, that's absolutely right, Allison. And we first want to give you a look at the tree that caused all these problems. You can see it was ripped out right at the roots. It took down those power lines and it left many in this neighborhood with no escape from the cold. Inside just about every home in this Fairfax County neighborhood, the fireplace is now a necessity. It's buying us some time. It's putting some heat in the house. Because the power on Sean Rowan Street has now been out for hours on the coldest night of the year. We got our fire logs and got the fire going and 